This is a demonstration of the Airbox Foresight, uh, which is also applicable to the Clarity. So here on the is the start of the startup screen. You can see you've got route information, speed, distance, altitude, and height on the left there. Uh, we've got a GPS fix by the notified by the green aeroplane. Um, and on the bottom, you've got track aircraft. Zoom in. Zoom out. And then on the right here, uh, you have to change the active leg of your route, the plus and minus buttons, and also the menu button. Uh, at the bottom, you have your relative position to the nearest airfield, a uh, scale bar, and your current position, uh, latitude and longitude. And in the display options, you can customise whether you have these turned on or not. This button on the left declutters the, the, uh, the other buttons on the bottom, and then if you press it again, it gives you the, the full screen for the map. And that remains there, so you can bring them all back again. So, pressing and holding on the screen, uh, sort of with the back of the, the finger now, you can pan around the screen. You can also press and hold, and that brings up the, the context menu. So, for routes, we can navigate to that point, insert it as a waypoint, view information about airspace at that location, change the map if we have multiple charts installed, look at airfield information uh, if you've selected over an airfield, and um, there's also approach plates available. So if we have a, if we, look at the, if we navigate here first, so that will go from our current position to where we've selected. So you can see that that's going down to Grove there. So if we decided then that we want to place in additional points, and press and hold and insert waypoint, and the waypoints will always be placed on the red part of the route, which is the active leg. And so on. And as said earlier, you can move that active leg around with the waypoint plus and minus buttons. When you select an airfield as a destination, uh, you get the extended runway centre lines. Well, so if I press and hold on there now, I have the option of deleting. Also on the Clarity and Foresight, you have the geo-referenced Hoolies guide. So if I press and hold on an airfield, I can select approach plates. Uh, I've then got options of whether I look at noise abatement or routing charts or the airfield diagram, if you have a look at that. So then that, that lays the plate on the chart and you can see that we have uh, taxiways uh, and thresholds available there. They are geo-referenced, so if, you, if you're taxiing along the apron there, out on taxiway alpha, you would see your aircraft icon moving there, which is very useful for large and unfamiliar airfields. So to get out of the, the view there, you have the turn to the map screen there, and then just zoom out from the view. On this particular unit, uh, as standard, the units only come with the, come with the 500k CAA charts. Uh, this particular one, we also have the 250k, so that uh, you can therefore you can change that as well. So when you've been panning around the map, you won't be the you won't be locked on the aircraft. So to to track the aircraft, you need to make sure that this button here is highlighted. If I just show you, go over there to have a look at something. Do you have to press that to come back to the aircraft? And you can see here, because of the microlight strip, I've got an airspace warning with information there, and it highlights on the map. In the menu, uh, we can also plan a flight and you can do this from your composition or between places and there are a number of options airfield search by name or ICAO code nav aids user waypoints and postcodes and so on <laughs> uh, yeah. you can plan your route that way uh, there's also a demo mode in the plan flight menu and that just allows you to see what the aircraft looks like as you're flying so you can see here press that button and it'll, the map will move with the aircraft so you've got a five minute line in one minute gradients and you can see here an example of an airspace infringement and an airspace warning. Uh, you can also use the buttons at the side here to adjust the altitude, speed and track of the aircraft. When you have a route planned, when you go into the menu you can then view the routes uh, if you've done it to a point in, uh, in space, you'll get a latitude and longitude, 
otherwise you get airfield or navave name where you've uh, where you've placed the waypoint. You can then save routes here and also load previously saved routes. Pilot information has a list of points of interest. So if you have uh, farm strips and that kind of kind of thing, you can you can press and hold on the map and save a POI at that location. So that allows you to manage those, and you can also see uh, any saved flight logs there. In preferences um, and display preferences, uh, you can customise whether the, the unit appears in portrait or landscape, uh, north up or track up, and there's various other options for choosing what appears on the main screen. You can also set your unit's preferences uh, and also set a home airfield. Uh, if you're having any uh, GPS issues or uh, any problem with it, you can press on the, the satellite icon there and that'll give you a readout of number of satellites and latitude and longitude and some raw, raw information which can be useful in diagnosing any GPS problem. That was a tutorial on the Airbox Foresight and Clarity. If you have any more questions then please email us or pick up the phone. Thank you.